What's up guys, Stacks here and I'm coming at you with another After Effects tutorial and today's tutorial is on a quick little transition that I've seen going around quite a lot um, I've got a quick example here for you and it's called the Kill Cam Transition Kill Cam Mask Transition, sorry something like that and this is what it looks like, it's just a quick slide in opacity fade into the clip and it looks really clean and really just it'll make your edit seem seamless if you know, if you know what that means just yeah so boy, what you want to start off by doing is creating a new composition guys and importing your two clips the clip you have on the bottom is going to be the clip that's going to be playing normally and the clip on top is the one we're going to use for the transition okay so what you want to start off by doing is just dragging your um, your top clip the one that's going to be transitioned you want to drag it along until it goes into the kill cam mode we have it in the kill cam mode and um, mine goes into the kill cam mode about there that's a, that's, a, that's a good frame to use you don't have to have any specific one but uh, yeah I mean specific one but yeah okay that's what we're going to use so you can just click alt and the um, uh, brackets or thing I don't know how to this is what it looks like guys uh, can't, can't really show you yeah now I can it's the alt there and the bracket there to cl cut it like ending it from that way and um, that's the one to cut it from that way like to cut it for that way okay and by doing that it just means it'll be a lot easier okay and a um, a really good thing to do guys is to make the composition whatever well make the composition whatever length you want really but zoom it in so it's um, basically uh, in seconds like it's like one second two second three second four second five second yada 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 and um, as you can see this bottom clip um, the scrap red one is right about near six seconds long and um, so what we're going to do is it's going to drag this our top clip in about a second so around about near the five as for me guys whatever yours is you do it to that about a second in and um, well that's if you've got enough space for a second but yeah I've got enough space so you bring it in about a second and then you duplicate the layer guys and um, freeze frame it so time freeze frame and go up here to the rectangle tool tool sorry and it's right up here in our like array of different uh, tools we can use and just click on the rectangle tool and mask around the uh, round winning kill like so and um, not around the numbers guys just around the round uh, the round winning kill, sorry I can't really speak today guys just mask around the round winning kill and um, what, uh, once you do that you want to click on your uh, the layer under it, the one that's not masked so the normal clip and you want to duplicate that again so do that and then click on the ra um, freeze frame it again so it's cut off freeze framing and um, go to the rectangle tool again and um, mask around this little bit that says era, um, mine says era repulsion and um, just mask around the kill cam uh, the uh, what you call it the little box at the bottom which holds the title and emblem and stuff like that just mask around it and um, so you want to do that you want to duplicate it one more time guys <laughs> no no so you don't you don't want to duplicate it again uh, don't do that sorry um, make a new black solid disable the um, your view of it I don't know what it is what it's called video high okay just disable the video basically or the clip on the layer sorry so you can see through it because obviously a black solid you won't be able to see through it and then go to the rectangle tool again and mask around the middle bit just the bit which doesn't have the round winning kill so it doesn't have this top bit or the bottom bit just has the bit in the middle and it doesn't matter that, it doesn't matter that you've got this little um, bit here you know with the box just ignore it and um, set the mask to inverted and if I enable this for you guys it just gets the top and the bottom 
if that makes sense for you guys. She gets the top and the bottom of that. So yeah. Now what you want to do is is highlight, wait, trim. Sorry, before you move that around, trim this black solid. So what we did earlier, the alt and the bracket. So trim it like that, and then highlight them all, and drag them over just a bit. So I'm gonna say around there. And um, yeah, so obviously, if you go to and um, before I continue, guys, it, um, as you can see up here, it has this round winning kilt, but as you can see, it has this bit behind it from the previous video. And so what we do is we click on that clip and we drag on something called linear color key to it and change this blue to black. And that will hide anything that's black on that um, certain uh, mask, if that makes sense. But um, to get rid of, like, as you can see, it's still there. You can still clearly see it. So you want to set the matching softness up to 100. And um, just leave it at that. And um, if, you guys, if you guys did a better job than I did on this bit here of the... Um, the box with the title and emblem in it, uh, that's much easier, it just stops a lot of uh, filling around, but I'm going to set a bit of feather to it, just because I didn't do it as well as I should have done, so about a 6, and that doesn't look bad at all, and so what we're going to do now is go to the beginning of these now, sorry if I'm not sound very clear here guys, but uh, yeah, try my best, okay, and um, go to the beginning, and click S on all of them, and set them all to 213 oh, sorry 213 and um, hit the stopwatch here guys to make a keyframe drag it to where the clip the actual moving clip starts drag it to there um, so yeah drag it to there and set them to 100 on each one so yeah, and um, by then you can now start to use the opacity. So if we trim it again um, to about there. Just trim it. Hit T for opacity. Go to where the um, the moving video first starts. Slot right there, and um, set the black solid. Well, drag the black solid underneath these two guys. The um. The other two masks drag it underneath them guys not underneath any of these moving clips just underneath the masks and set the black solid to 45 I like it at and keyframe that and keyframe these to 100 doesn't really matter well it does matter keep them up keyframe them 100 and drag it to the end um trying to figure out what's the end sorry um drag it to the end so right there and set these to zero on all of them and so obviously it would look wrong if we didn't do it to the um, actual moving video clip guys so um, obviously do that so hit T for opacity set it to zero at the beginning instead of the other one set it to zero keyframe it go to the end where all these lot are and set it to 100 and that is pretty much it guys, um, just a quick little transition, I know it hasn't been the quickest tutorial because it's not the easiest to explain, but um, yeah, it's not the easiest, it's been a very, very long tutorial, but anyway, if I just show you this quickly, it goes, comes in like that, fades through to your clip, and it looks really nice guys in edits. Hope you like this tutorial guys, CC back on the way very soon, just getting which ones I want to use in it and then it'll be out by probably Saturday this week. So stay tuned, if this is the first video you've ever watched of mine, subscribe, it's been Stacks, I'm out, peace.